Thanks, Priyanka. I'm happy to be with you all today, albeit via video. And boy, would I sure like to be there in person. I really miss China and all the communities in China that we work with every day. As soon as China opens up for foreigners to visit, I'll be first in line. This year has been a big year for open source around the world and in China. The Chinese government has announced that open source is part of their national strategy. And I couldn't have agreed more in welcoming the Chinese government's support and positioning of open source as a national strategy. I look forward to seeing how the Linux Foundation can collaborate more in China, just as we do with countries all over the globe in a large worldwide open source effort. You know, statistics show that the use of open source in China is largely in line with the rest of the world. And when I say in line, I mean the vast majority of the code in any technology, product, or service is open source. The Linux Foundation is joining forces with the leading technology companies in the world, such as Huawei, Tencent, Intel, Microsoft, IBM, and others, to make sure that that code that we all depend on for the technology we use every day is secure, the communities that support that software are robust, and that we all work together in the open to create the incredible innovative software that's such a critical part of our daily lives. You know, there are over 7.5 million developers in China, according to the GitHub 2021 survey. And China has some of the highest quality developers in the world. This is a valuable resource for global open source communities. However, this resource is not enough for Chinese development. In the past year, we have seen a huge increase in the number of developers taking training on critical open source projects. For example, we trained 3000 Kubernetes certified experts in China in 2021, which is a great achievement. I wanna congratulate the Chinese Linux Foundation Open Source Software Academy and China open source community on continuing to learn about open source and grow their software development skills. The Linux Foundation, China and Asia Pacific team has put a great deal of effort into promoting open source in China in 2021. And this year there's going to be a new group of evangelists joining the Linux Foundation APAC team in 2022 to continue that effort. I wanna thank all of the evangelists for their contribution and effort, and I really look forward to meeting them in person when I visit. The Linux Foundation APAC team has participated in hundreds of events and meetups in 2021 in China and with Chinese communities, and have really, really grown the open source ecosystem in China to an amazing degree. Open source continues to be a global force, and not just in China, but around the world, we're seeing the impact. This year, as we celebrate the 30th anniversary of Linux, I'm proud to say that Linux now powers the vast majority of the world's computing systems. Linux Foundation projects like Kubernetes and the cloud native technologies we're all here to talk about are fundamental building blocks of modern applications. Edge, cloud, telecommunications, and enterprise workloads are all moving technology rapidly, and all of that technology is based on open source. Hyperledger is the dominant enterprise blockchain stack. We are very proud of that project here at the Linux Foundation. Node.js is the world's leading application framework. Our Let's Encrypt project is the world's largest certificate authority. The Yocto project has become the market share leader in embedded Linux tooling. And it has been used not just here on earth, but has been used 
on a helicopter studying Mars. Zephyr Project is becoming the world's leading real-time operating system with over a thousand contributors and 50,000 commits, building on advanced support for a wide degree of silicon architectures. The open network automation platform is the de facto platform for orchestration and management of telecommunication systems in China and around the world. And finally, the Linux Foundation's RISC-V project is one of the leading silicon architectures in terms of growth worldwide. The Linux Foundation launched over 124 projects in 2021. We trained over 2 million developers. We hosted events with over 90,000 attendees. We launched projects in new industries, including agriculture, gaming, healthcare, insurance. And finally, we launched new security initiatives, raising $10 million for our open source security foundation to address cybersecurity issues in the global supply chain collectively so that we can all trust in this great shared, freely available public good. In China, we've seen amazing participation. You know, in CNCF alone, China has about 20% of the projects and is the number two contributor with over 80 members in CNCF. In our Linux Foundation AI and big data project, board of develop, board of, uh, in our Linux Foundation AI and data project, board members are from China. I want to congratulate Zhu Jingping, who's the general manager of Huawei Cloud and AI Open Source, who was elected as the new chairman of the Linux Foundation AI and Data Governing Board. Hyperledger is the number one enterprise blockchain in China. And according to a recent CIAI CT report, China sees 60% of fabric usage, 25% of global Hyperledger certified service providers are also in China. And two projects, Cello and Caliper, were contributed from China. We are seeing a huge increase in growth and contributions to Hyperledger Fabric and continue to see broad adoption of Hyperledger blockchain in China. China also continues to support many of the new projects and foundations that the Linux Foundation created in 2021. The Open Source Security Foundation I just mentioned is supported at the highest level by companies such as Tencent and Huawei our FinOps project is supported at the highest level by Tencent Cloud. FinOps is the key to unlocking the promise of cloud computing by helping organizations with best practices around managing their cloud computing infrastructure. Finally, a new project from China, the NextArc Foundation, is a neutral home for open source developers and contributors to build a next generation architecture that can support compatibility between an increasing array of microservices. It was established on November 2nd, but already has 50 collaborators, including companies and industries in semiconductor technology, networking, front end computing, storage, big data, cloud native, audio, video applications, artificial intelligence, scientific research institutes, and many, many more. We hope that more Chinese organizations and individuals will join hands with the Linux Foundation in our global effort. Our team in China is here to support all of you with your needs around any open source project. Please reach out to them. And remember that open source is about helping yourself and helping others at the same time. When it comes to open source, there are no rivalries. There is no competition between countries, companies, or individuals. The core of open source is about cooperation. And I look forward to continuing to cooperate with all of you for many years to come. Thank you.